Hello everybody. I thought I'd just show you another couple of pictures of Chantal. You know, the one who's better looking than 90% of YouTubers. The one who earns um, a six-figure salary that she boasts about. The one who's more intelligent than all of us. Um... And the one who is so smug that she gets away with everything, including not paying her taxes. Well, here's her face. As we see, um, both sides are filtered. But this side a little bit more so. And you can see the complexion on this side is like sandpaper her eye is smaller her lips are a different shape her nose is you see how different she looks on there and i just think it's worth pointing out that really is she better looking than 90 percent of youtubers what do you think? I've got a better one for you. Hold on. So let's watch this one together. Watch carefully. Are you not moving? Watch carefully. From her pointy chin. And her pointed face. Do that. Watch it again. Oval face, pointy chin. Two. That. From that, are you moving for me? Two. Watch it one, one more time. It's intriguing, isn't it? From that to that and there she is you can see what the filters do you see around there her face comes around into a pointy chin like that and then have you ever seen her with only one chin have you no, two chins, three chins. Let's watch it again. Hold on. So, from that, you shouldn't have done that. Hang on, really? From that to that. 
so. So it was a pretty um, marked difference, wasn't it, in those pictures? And um, I just got out the shower actually, unfiltered, nothing on, I haven't even got any cream on. Dare you come on like this, Chantal, I wonder. Um, I'm also wondering about, as there's been a lot of talk about your trustees and your bankruptcy, well, I haven't involved myself in that. Any of that, but you're being very coy about it. So I think if the court officials are worth their salt, as they say, they will be able to get detailed income um, amounts from YouTube. And I understand that there's um, a certain site where money from Super Chats, etc. are also detailed. Um, so, you know, you, you and Pete have gotten away with pretty much everything with no response, taking no responsibility for anything your entire lives. And um, it's about time that you paid some consequences monetarily um, instead of being able to run away from what you should have been paying all this time. People who avoid taxes, none of us like taxes, do we? None of us. But we have to pay them. We have to pay them towards fire services, towards teaching, towards um, medical care, etc, etc. And you certainly made, um, you know, behaved uh, as though you really are entitled to the best medical care and you've made sure that you've taken advantage of that without paying a penny into the system from your six figure salary plus your super chats plus your gifts i don't know whether they'll be detailed somewhere but if they are and if the court officials do their job properly, which I hope that they do, then you're pretty well screwed. Um, I guess that running away to Kuwait, you think might solve the problem. I guess that running away to Kuwait and maybe putting a channel in the seller's name might solve the problem. I guess because there's no taxation is there in Kuwait that might solve the problem but maybe not maybe not and do you know if you're even going to be welcome back into Kuwait after what you did and what you said on screen online about Salah's wife because if that man does as he said he's going to um, and speaks to the authorities about you, then you're pretty much screwed there as well. So maybe you'll just have to get a flight straight to the Philippines. Who knows? Who can say? But I hope your assets are froze. Frozen, well and truly, by the trustees and that you have to pay back eventually every single penny that you owe because you know what it's theft what you've done what you're doing is theft and it's not only theft from the government it's theft from the ordinary people in the streets the taxpayers, even cockroaches, have to pay their way, one way or 
annoza.